In Trimble SiteWorks, the Feature Code Library is a special function that makes it quicker and easier to label and measure common features on a job site, such as utilities, landscape, and more. Please note that the Advanced Measurement module is required to use a Feature Code Library. The Feature Code Library is contained in an FXL file. You have the option of choosing this file when you first set up a new project. You can use the SiteWorks default library or a custom library. For this tutorial, we'll use the default. Before we begin, let's make one quick change to the info bar at the top. Go to the hamburger menu and select info bar slash panel. Check the FXL code box and then move it to the top of the list. This will help us see the codes we're using in real time. Hit accept. And now we're ready to start using feature codes. When a feature library is selected in a project, the FXL icon now appears on the left measurement bar of the map panel. Selecting it reveals an FXL settings button and a quick select list of codes. We'll start with the settings. This opens a grid view of feature codes available in the library. A code is simply an abbreviation of a site improvement otherwise known as a feature. For instance, we have AW for awning, FH for fire hydrant, and STMH for storm manhole. Notice that as we select different codes, we can see the full name for each code displayed in our top info bar. Once a code is selected, it stays selected until we either press that code again to unselect it, or select a new code. Once we've chosen a code, we can hide the grid view by pressing the FXL settings button again to toggle it off. Likewise, we can press the main FXL button to toggle off the top feature bar. Our selected code will stay selected, as we can see on the info bar. Let's say we want to take a measurement on a water valve. The code for that is WV. So we look for WV, and we select it. Then we set the rod tip on the valve location and press the plus button. Just like a normal point measurement, we get the window prompt where we can confirm the point name. Because we're using a feature library, we don't have to enter a code. We can see that the code is already applied. As usual, we can change show every time to no if we're shooting multiple valves in an area. And we also have a prompt to attach a photo but we'll skip that for now and just hit accept. The measurement is stored, just like a normal point. We can review it on our map screen, and in our point manager.
So far I've told you which code goes with which feature, but how can we find the code for a feature without guessing? Let's go back to the grid view and select the pencil icon. This shows a detailed list of every feature code available in the library. Each code has a name and a layer. The name is the description of the feature, and the layer is the category of that feature. Using the Code Filter dropdown at the top, we can filter the results by category. If we select Water Utilities, only wet utility features are shown. And if we then select a code from that list and hit Accept, the grid view now only shows wet utility codes. And if we want to change it again, we can do so quickly with the drop down box at the top right of the grid. A feature code can also automatically define whether a measurement is a point or a line. If we go back to the list view and then look at our road structures codes, we can see various icons in the leftmost column. These icons indicate whether the feature is a point or a line. So we can see barrier post is a point since a post is measured with a single shot. Whereas a long, continuous structure, like back of curb, is defined as a line. And then there's the tag icon, which indicates a feature point that has extra attributes, such as signpost here. Let's shoot a signpost. We can select it from the list, and we can also select it from the grid. Remember to look at the info panel to confirm which feature code you're actively using. So we select SP for signpost, and go to measure the post. On the measurement screen, we have the usual options at the top, and then we have the attributes below. These attributes will vary from code to code. One attribute of signpost is type, a dropdown that contains a list of common types of road signs. Because this is a stop sign, we'll select stop. We also have the option of attaching a photo of the feature. We can do so using the internal camera in the data collector. Or we can upload a file from the data collector storage. These attributes will be stored in the measurement data and can be imported into Trimble Business Center automatically associated with their respective points. The Quick Select list is very handy if you want to keep your map panel clear while using specific feature codes. From the grid view, simply press and hold the code you want and carefully drag it to the Quick Select bar. You can also drag unwanted codes off of the bar. If you want to use a feature library in a project you've already created, 
you can simply copy and paste the FXL file into the project directory using your data collector's operating system. Next time you start up SiteWorks, the FXL library will be available. If your company or client uses a different set of acronyms or abbreviations, you can create your own custom feature library, save it as an FXL file, and distribute it for use in multiple devices. You can even select an FXL file in Works Manager and sync it to all devices on the project. For more information on developing a custom library, check out the Feature Definition Manager included with Trimble Business Center.